These days, battery-powered electric vehicles are all the craze with every car manufacturer wanting to get a share of the industry before it's too late. Toyota, like other automakers, want to make a name in the industry as well, but they're taking things slow by focusing on hydrogen-powered vehicles. Now, Toyota and Hyundai are just two of the automakers betting on this future, and to reduce their reliance on pollution-causing gasoline and petrol cars. In this video, we take a look at how Toyota plans to dominate the hydrogen segment with its cars. Stay tuned! Before we begin this video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates, that way you'll never miss a video from us. With that said, let's not waste any more time and get right into today's content. Hydrogen-powered cars are also called fuel cell cars. The interesting thing about hydrogen-powered cars is that they do not burn hydrogen, rather they are powered by compressed hydrogen gas that feeds into an onboard fuel cell stack. The fuel's chemical energy is then converted into electrical energy that drives an electric motor. The fuel cell is very similar to the battery in construction. There is an anode and cathode. Hydrogen enters the anode where it comes in contact with a catalyst that promotes the separation of hydrogen atoms into an electron and proton. The electrons are gathered by the conductive current collector which is connected to the car's high voltage circuitry feeding the on-port battery and the motors that turn the wheels. The main components in a fuel cell car include the fuel cell stack, which aggregates many fuel cells that combine oxygen and hydrogen to generate electricity and power the electric motor. There is also the fuel tank where the hydrogen gas is stored. It is made of carbon fiber reinforced material for enhanced protection. You also have the electric motor that powers the car using energy produced in the fuel cell stack. Fuel cell cars are also a battery for storing energy from regenerative braking and providing additional power to the electric motor. You will also find an exhaust on a fuel cell car. Instead of greenhouse gases, the byproduct of the reaction occurring in the fuel cell stack is water vapor which is emitted through the exhaust. As such, hydrogen fuel cell cars are zero emission cars. So basically just like electric cars, there are no moving parts but you refuel the hydrogen through a pump just like you put gas into an internal combustion engine. Now, the 2022 Toyota Mirai sedan is decked out in one of the automaker's most stunning designs, and it appears to have come from a time when SUVs with boxy bodies were already old hats. Even with its sleek design and high-end finish, the hydrogen propulsion system really sets this ship apart. Two distinct trim levels are available for the 2022 Mirai, the more affordable XLE and the more luxurious Limited. The Toyota Mirai utilizes a fuel cell electric powertrain. Thus, the fuel cell, basically a mobile chemistry lab, converts hydrogen into power. The car has a powerful electric motor that can generate 182 horsepower and powers the rear wheels exclusively through a direct drive gearbox with a single gear. In addition, it takes the 2022 Mirai a sluggish 9.1 seconds to get to 60 mph. Its fuel efficiency has not yet been estimated by the EPA, however, the prior generation vehicle achieved combined city and highway ratings of 67 miles per gallon equivalent. Toyota also claims that a Mirai with a full hydrogen tank can go as far as 402 miles. When it comes to the Mirai's interior, it is just as stylish. The Mirai comes standard with a large 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system similar to the one found in high-end versions of the Toyota Highlander SUV. Features such as a Wi-Fi hotspot, a 14-speaker JBL audio system, Sirius XM satellite radio, and in-dash navigation are all standard, as are Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Like most of the rest of the Toyota lineup, the Mirai also offers a standard suite of driver assistance features. Key safety features include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, and standard adaptive cruise control. Toyota is focused on developing hydrogen-powered vehicles. Toyota sees great potential in developing hydrogen fuel vehicles and infrastructure in Europe. The Caetano bus company was founded in Portugal and is jointly owned by Toyota Caetano Portugal and Mitsui and Company. The companies want to concentrate on many hydrogen-related areas, and implementing hydrogen filling stations, producing hydrogen from renewable sources, and using hydrogen in various vehicles all fall under this category. Toyota has also stated that they will concentrate first on buses, light commercial vehicles and automobiles with the further objective to accelerate the heavy-duty truck category. Toyota views hydrogen fuel cell technology as a significant technical advance and as part of a low-carbon society, they believe it might provide sustainable, emission-free transportation. 
As such, Toyota is taking the hydrogen-powered vehicle industry head-on, and it could possibly be a powerhouse in the field. That's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.